Hey guys, Ostafarians here, and I am bringing you another gameplay. This is, I'm not really sure, I don't have a plan for what I'm going to talk about this commentary, mainly the fact that I'm going to start posting more videos more often, because you know, if you want to get more known, then you should post more content, and make sure that the content has quality. So I try to put up quality in all of my content type stuff that I make, like the Let's Plays of Fear 2. I've been trying to make a lot of those lately. Because just like one play at night gets me like four, three, three to four episodes. So I'm trying to make lots of those. And then at the same time I'm trying to make all of the regular commentaries. Although I'm probably going to get more slow on the Call of Duty commentaries because I want to get my Let's Plays out there. Because right after doing my Fear 2 Let's Play, I want to move on to Fear 1. Now it's kind of weird going backwards. That's because I originally I bought Fear 2 because of what's it, uh, Hollywood Video. It's a store down here in Washington. I don't know if anyone else has it, but Hollywood Video is going out of business because, you know, Netflix and all those video stores come to life. So yeah, I bought Fear 2 and started playing it, and it was really fun, except then I'm like, wait, it'd be really fun to record and then make Let's Plays and stuff. Except back then I didn't have HDP VR or anything, I just kind of bought it all at once, just so I could start making new videos. So yeah, and I started playing it, and it's, I guess, I'm kind of a scary noob. I'm starting to get used to playing scary games, and like a few years ago I started watching scary movies. Before, hey Abby. Oh, sorry, Abby's my dog. She's co-commentating with me. And yeah, basically, I bought the game and I played maybe a third or like between a fourth and a third of it. And that's when I was like, oh, I really want to do a let's play of it. So then I started and then I was, wait, this is Fear 2, there's still Fear 1 and Fear 3 is also coming out. So after I finish Fear 2, which I'm going to try to pump out as many episodes as I can so that I can quickly get into Fear 1, and then I also want to buy, if I can get enough money, buy Fear 3, and start a let's play on that, because, you know, all the Fear games, they're fairly fun, although Fear 3 doesn't look as scary, it looks more, because you have a partner, I guess, and, I don't know, but it just seems different. And then, uh, also, I was thinking of doing a let's play of Bioshock, because I started playing the game, I borrowed it from a friend, but probably not, because I probably won't do a let's play of that. Because I've already gone through a lot of it. I'm sure many people already know what Bioshock is. Great game, pretty graphics. And so this game mostly I'm trying to I'm getting used to kinda quick scoping slash just sniping in general with the PSG. So I'm kinda I haven't sniped since I tried to make that montage with Windows Live Movie Maker. Which I thought it turned out pretty well. You know if I editing. So I'm trying to practice with the PSG just because it's different, you know? You gotta mix things up so that the game stays fresh. So yeah, I, I missed quite a few shots because the PSG just seems way different from all the other snipers. So yeah, I missed a few and it seems, I guess, maybe it's just my mind, but I think that it gets more hit markers than the L96, but what do I know? Anyway, just keeping it fresh, using new things. And... Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing this entire game. I have, I believe, I have Ghost, and Harden Pro, and Hacker Pro. Pretty much nowadays I always run Hacker Pro, because I didn't know that that hid you from motion sensors. I thought that was Ninja, kind of like for Mario Warfare 2 with the heartbeat sensor. And I have Harden Pro, mainly because a friend, his name is the Nubby Panda, but he told me that if I'm sniping then it's good to use Harden Pro because you can wall bang people and if you get shot your gun's not going to fly 50 feet in the air and you're not going to miss as well. Although, also I heard that steady aim is good to use when quick scoping and stuff because when you sprint and stop you scope scoping much faster. Any sniper watching this you can leave a comment to help me. Too lazy to look up a video on it or any research. And yeah, basically just sniping and I don't normally run ghost. I normally run flak check just because we're, I'm playing Ground War. I play Ground War a lot. That, either that or Search with friends. But with Ground War, I usually run Flag Jacket just so I can uh, capture flags more easily. 
Well, this one I decided to do ghost because I was sniping, needed to get the jump on people. And I wasn't camping, so I wouldn't be wanting a, being one of those camping noobs that just sits around. I was running around just trying to snipe with the PSG. Because normally I hate it when other people use ghosts because you have no idea where they come from. And most of the time they're sitting in a corner with their glial suppressed, just waiting for you to walk by. Also, I've been experimenting with lots of other guns besides the um, besides the Hamas. So everyone says that's overpowered, which I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty ridiculous, but I try to mix it up. And here I try to I thought there was a guy up there, so I tried to use my hardened pro powers to get him through. It looks like this gameplay is getting pretty close to wrapping up. I'm pretty sure yeah, nine eighteen and I mean ninety eight hundred. And I get the final kill with the PSG headshot. So I'm going on vacation pretty soon. So, like for a few days, and then next week I'm going again. I'll try to get as many Let's Plays and all that stuff out. Maybe a few more Black Ops commentaries. And until then, love all you. And subscribe if you like. And like if you like. And favorite if it's your favorite. Anyway, bye bye.